Hey guys, just a quick recording here to show you how to set Jabber to auto discover its communication manager server and its presence server. Um, this is so you don't have to go in and manually enter in that information for every client. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you're going to go over to your DNS server here and underneath your domain, you're going to find your uh, TCP folder here and we're going to add in two new SRV records. So to do that, just right click and we're going to do other new records. Go down until you see where it says the SRVs, right there. Create record, and then the first service you're going to create here is underscore Cisco dash UDS protocol is going to be underscore TCP. Um, you can leave these priorities and weights alone. Port number is going to be eight four four three. And this is where you need to put in the host of your communication manager server. So we're going to put in here cucmpub1.lab.com. And then just go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to create one more record here. And this is going to be for the present server. So we're going to put in cup login. And protocol again is the same, TCP. Again, leave those alone. 8443 is the port. And then the host offering the service, mine is cup1.lab.com. If you're looking at this little spreadsheet I have on the side here, I have these backwards. So Cisco UDS, again, that is your communication manager uh, IP address or domain right there um, and then cup login that is for your present server so once you have those all set just click OK you should have those two new records in there go ahead and hit done and then you can try it out on a client here I'm just gonna flush the DNS cache real quick here just to make sure there's nothing in it um, and then on the Jabber client I'm gonna do a quick reset actually it's already reset so I don't need to do that again and I'm gonna try to log in here using my email address So the client should go out, should find those records, and it should automatically fill in that information. So if you get this and you don't get an error above it, then that's right. So now you can log in with your password, and that's it. You should be up and running, and you can see the Jabber client logged in, no problem. I have phone support now, too, so I use it as a soft phone. And that's it, guys. Thanks.